Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 4. Today we're going to take on Ring Man. But before we do, let's get to know a little bit about our uh, soon to be enemy, shall we? Let's see. Ah, here we go. Ring Man. His weapon is uh, Ring Boomerang. His weakness is Pharaoh Shot. Let's see. Ring Man was originally created for the sole purpose of defeating Mega Man. His uh, ring shape, the, the ring shape of his ring boomerang weapon makes it difficult for sharp edge projectiles to be shot down. Oh no, makes it difficult for the sharp edge pro uh, projectiles. Basically hit the rings he throws. Basically, because of the uh, design of his weapon, makes it hard to be shot down by projectiles like, uh, let's say, Mega Man's uh, Mega Buster. Uh, he can also actually control the distance and angle of the rings that he uh, throws. Uh, he's he's known to be a keen strategist, but he's also over uh, extremely self-confident to the point of, that he's conceited. Uh, let's see. He boasts that he's unbeatable and enjoys the the traditional ring ring throwing game of Quotus uh, and hates children. Dude, how can you hate children? I don't know what quote. I don't know what quote this is, unless that's actually another name for ring toss. But let's go ahead and get into it. I'm Ring Man. Oh, this is actually a pretty nice stage. Whoa. Uh, I didn't know Rainbow Road could be taken out from right under my feet. Onward and upward. Oh, come on, this ain't even right, man. Still can't touch me. Yeah, these, um, these, uh, ro uh rainbow roads can be taken right out from under your feet. Like, whatever direction you're going in, that's when, that's where it'll move. Sometimes you basically gotta play, uh, beat the Rainbow Road here. Huh. Nighttime already? Now what? You giant himbo! It's very easy to beat this. All you gotta do is just make him, uh, make him come down to the ground. You can still shoot him, but all you gotta do is just shoot the pillar underneath the, uh, the platform he's on. But, uh, yeah, this hippo just continuously shoot missiles at you. It's real easy. They're really easy to dodge. Um, all you gotta do is, like, wait for them to get to a certain point, because you'll fire two at a time. And you can just have them circling around you. Ooh, thank you. No help. That's sad. There's some help. Come on. Um, it's best to just, like, wait for the, uh, rainbow to, like, come back if you're at a point where you're not sure if you'll make it. That way you can just run along with it. This guy is also a pain. He's basically invulnerable as long as that ring boomerangs up. That ring bar barriers up, I mean. But when, uh, the rings stop moving, they'll, they'll slowly come towards you. Oh, another round with Hippo. Okay. Hippotron. Sometimes you can actually uh, destroy the missiles that he shoots. And they'll drop some goodies for you, too. Oh, a ladder! I wonder what's up there. 
Oh, Eddie! Yeah, um, because of the fact I got the, boom, the uh, balloon chip, you didn't see this guy in the last episode, but Eddie is a, um, I guess you could say a robotic suitcase. He can give me whatever item I, uh, uh, am available. But sometimes he'll ma uh, make it random. But you can keep uh, manipulating this little pattern, this uh, little, uh... Ooh! Thanks, Eddie! You can manipulate that little method I did of uh, going up and making him repeat his movement. As long as you don't take the item, he'll keep coming back. It's a good idea in case you want to get, like, certain items. Like, let's say, uh, an E-Tank, for example. Now, this is actually opposite of the roof, of the Rambo Road. Watch. Instead of coming from um, under you by going the direction you're going, it's actually going to do that in the direction you're going. It's um, in the opposite of the direction you're going. But when you're dealing with enemies, this is one time you don't want to be, uh, doing that. I'm not even gonna deal with you. Oh, okay. I thought you were the only one, but... What a waste of time. Oh, you again?! Gotcha. Now I need health again. Or I can just lose the ring, man. Mm. Time to play Ring Around the Robot, Mega Man! Why are you fighting me? I have no choice. for Ring Man to do his ring thing. Hey, all you gotta do is just manipulate the ring throw to where he'll throw one, and you can just jump back and forth over that. Are you attacking me for the same reason Pharaoh Man it did? Pharaoh Man? So he failed, huh? I guess that's to be expected. You have his weapon. Uh-huh. For Dr. Kozak! For justice. Mega Man wins. You got Ring Boomerang. Oh, nice. This was actually, uh, if I didn't have a save feature, I'd probably just go ahead and copy the code I see here. A2, B3, B4, B6, C, D1, and D3. But, ladies and gentlemen, that was Ringman. Next Sunday, we'll take on Dustman. If you enjoyed the episode, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Make sure you uh, hit the bell and turn on all notifications for my channel. Um, if, if you need more videos, please check out the video I've listed in the Instagram as well as the two playlists. If you need more gaming content, feel free to check out my channel where I have tons where I have tons of uh, gameplay videos coming up every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, 
mornings, if not uh, evenings. This is Stacy Gardner saying I'll see you next time. Later. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe for more. Later.